The world of conspiracy theorists is quite peculiar, and that's why we are here with the Conspiracy Planet. Usury, which pe more and more people are becoming aware of the charging interest. As is often the case, we find people with no educational background, no sense of expertise in any literal sense, and yet they are preaching about things which they know practically nothing about. Running and running and running and running and driving the fiat currencies to bankruptcy constantly. Charities are propagators of plagues. Charities are propagators of plagues. Having lost the political argument, leftists are desperately clinging to this idea that they have the monopoly on coal. The business operating conspiracy theorist trying to remain relevant on social media in order to continue to get donations and make sales on his online store. His whole emphasis is on profit, but his followers very rarely notice this fact. In fact, I've never seen so many members of the lefty Twitterati so triggered. I'm totally cool, I'm a king of I'm a king of fish, it's so good. One of the more famous examples is, of course, the gay frog. A example of a total attention whore, money grabber. But enough knowledge to pull the wool over the eyes of his ill-informed and undereducated audience. Frogs aren't gay, atrazine's good. There's not a chemical program to reduce fertility. Hey, guess what the ultimate truth in life is? You're a god. Many religious people pass on their paranoid conspiracy theory beliefs about safe and liberal religions as if they are piloted by the devil himself. And that is the lie that serpent, the, the serpent told Eve in the garden. The draconians in, in specific, this is, this is what happened. I'm going to start at the beginning. The New Age conspiracy theorist, but also their demons, are in fact interdimensional beings. And so they have a different mythology, but fundamentally still claim the same sort of paranoid conspiracy is dominating the globe. Have to play with their prey, um, and as a negative soul, the negative range of emotions is what they feed off most. Okay. A monster energy drink. Either I put it on YouTube or Instagram. I'm not sure, but everybody was telling me don't support that. You know that means three sixes. The conspiracy theory ideas are passed on throughout the community. Certain ideas become effectively cultural memes, and those memes become part of the grand series of conspiracies widely accepted by conspiracy theorists. And I don't want to support something that's going against God. This has happened on the year that the uh, one of the biggest elections um, in terms of America. Typically what is found with conspiracy theorists is their lack of ability to cope with reality and their inadequacy lead them to believe ridiculous ideas that lend to self-importance as they have discovered some kind of grand truth. And have infiltrated many government systems, businesses, and then infiltrating through bribery and blah blah. The new the, the Great Reset, the New World Order, cashless society. The worst case scenario for the failing conspiracy theorist is to simply claim that what you're saying is fake information, that you're projecting fake news, or you're part of some kind of grand conspiracy against them and their position. Can you stay categorical? You are fake news. The next question on your lips might well be what of conservation? Well, Sadly, these are not on the endangered list, however, a previous generation version of the conspiracy theorist has become endangered. The traditional conspiracy theorist that exposes real conspiracies has, in fact, become endangered, and some species have even become 
extinct, while the modern conspiracy theorist continues to overpopulate and find themselves in constant conflict with reality. I've been swimming in raw sewage. I love it. <laughs>